hello dear students i'm dr moin in this video we are going to learn about ir spectroscopy so here are the contents of current video we'll see a detailed introduction of infrared spectroscopy and then we'll see the various modes of vibrations in this video so first of all introduction we know that molecules are always in constant state of vibration even we know that if they are in solid state uh, the atoms are vibrating inside each bond vibrates with its characteristic frequency so each and every bond is vibrating and it has some specific type of frequency now the frequency of most of the molecular vibrations correspond to the frequency of electromagnetic radiations falling in IR region of electromagnetic spectrum. So when the frequency of these vibrations, these were noted, so they matched with the frequency of infrared radiations. So what is the portion of electromagnetic radiation which falls in infrared region? So this is what do we say this is the region of infrared radiation that is 2.5 to 16 micrometer and if we uh, convert it into per centimeter then it becomes 4000 to 625 per centimeter and this IR region 2.5 to 16 micrometer actually it is mostly used mean it has other region too we can say the lower part the lower region we can say 0.8 to 2.5 micrometer this also belongs to IR region and this is called near IR region but I said that this region is mostly used to study IR spectroscopy but this 0.8 to 2.5 this also falls in infrared region and this is called near IR region and similarly its upper boundary what do you say upper region and that is 16 to 10 raised 3 micrometer this also falls in IR region and this is called far IR region now why these are called near IR far IR region this is according uh, to what do you say uh, visible region because this region is close to uh, visible region and this one is far to visible region so that is why these are called these are called near IR region and far IR region when IR radiations are made to interact with some molecule only those radiations are absorbed whose frequencies match with the vibrational frequency of the bond means we interact the whole region of IR radiation with some molecule so only that portion will be absorbed whose frequency will match with the frequency of the uh, with the vibrational frequency of that bond otherwise no radiation will be absorbed then since IR spectroscopy deals the vibrations of the molecules so it is also known as vibrational spectroscopy now what happens when there is absorption of infrared radiation so the absorption of IR radiation is associated with the excitation of molecules from ground state to higher vibrational state so after absorption of infrared radiations molecules are excited to their higher vibrational state and what happens to molecule actually it is the amplitude of vibration that increases but the frequency does not change means if the molecule was vibrating with this amplitude then after absorption of radiation it may vibrate with this amplitude so it is the amplitude of vibration actually that increases but frequency of vibration does not change and if we talk about the IR spectrum then we get the spectrum here too and uh, that is a plot of absorbance or transmittance as ordinate mean on y-axis there might be absorbance or person transmittance 
and that is against wavelength or wave number as abscissa means this wavelength or wave number will be on x-axis while absorbance or transmit transmittance will be at y-axis the position of absorption bands because in spectrum we are going to have the absorption bands or peaks so their position is either expressed by wavelength lambda and that is taken usually in the unit of micrometer or most com commonly the position of the absorption band that is uh, going to be expressed in wave number with unit per centimeter so both of these terminologies you can see in the uh, IR spectrum wave, wavelength and wave number generally the position of an absorption band in an IR spectrum is expressed in wave number as I mentioned earlier the position of absorption band generally it is mentioned in wave number uh, with unit per centimeter but it's common practice to use the word frequency in place of wave number but when we talk when we generally talk about uh, 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 the position of absorption band so uh, it, is, it is the practice what do you say it is a universal sin that the frequency is used for example you can see here is the band and that has been appeared on 3000 and it is wave number but it is a practice that we use the word frequency mean we say here is the band absorption band and the frequency of the band is 3000 uh, uh, per centimeter now we have seen we have already discussed UV visible spectroscopy and we have seen there the spectra and we have observed that uh, we got a few number of peaks in UV visible uh, spectra but if we compare IR spectra with the UV visible spectra then we can say the IR spectra is not that type of simple type of spectra even a very simple molecule can give a complex IR spectra so you can see here is the spectrum of ethyl benzoate is the person transmittance and here is the wave number and you can see here are the large number of peaks or absorption bands over here so this is not a simplest type of uh, spectra then two different compounds have always different spectra means two if we have two different compounds they can never ever have same identical IR spectra the spectra will be different from each other then although, although IR spectrum is the characteristic of the whole molecule mean the spectra which uh, we obtained that is due to the whole molecule but the certain functional groups give absorption band at the same frequency regardless the structure of rest of the molecule what does it mean for example we have two different molecules but they have same functional group then the absorption band due to the functional group will be at similar positions for for the spectra of both of the molecules and here is the example let we have two molecules di n hexyl ketone and other one is acetone so we can see both belong to the ketone so both of them have carbonyl group then the absorption due to carbonyl stretching vibration for both of these two spectrum will be at same position basically IR spectroscopy is used for determination of functional group in an organic compound so the main purpose what do you say uh, it helps us to find the functional group information in some organic compound So this was all about the introduction of infrared spectroscopy and now we will see the vibrational modes now why it is necessary to see the vibrational modes present in the molecule because we know that infrared spectroscopy it basically deals with the vibrations present in the molecule and a molecule has a large variety of vibrations some of these vibrations they may be associated 
uh, with the vibrations of individual bonds or some may be due to the functional groups and these collectively these are called fundamental vibrations so the vibrations uh, due to individual bonds or functional groups these are also known as fundamental vibrations and there are two types of fundamental vibrations stretching vibrations and bending vibrations now we'll see what is the difference between stretching vibration and bending vibration so here's the definition a stretching vibration is a rhythmical movement of the two bonded atoms along the bond axis such that interatomic distance either increasing or decreasing means two bonded atoms and their rhythmical movement they are moving in such a way that their interatomic distance is either increasing or decreasing and this type of vibration is called stretching vibration while the other one is called bending vibration in bending vibration there is no change in interatomic distance of the bonded atoms so what is this actually it's a rhythmical movement of atoms that cause that causes change in angle between bonds with common atom so it is a rhythmical movement in which we observe change in angle between the bonded atoms and there is no change in distance uh, uh, there is no change in interatomic distance among the bonded atoms so here are the fundamental vibrations which are the characteristics characteristics of a molecule and as we mentioned earlier it is of two types stretching vibrations and bending vibrations stretching vibrations may further classified into two types it may be symmetric stretching vibration or it may be anti-symmetric or asymmetric stretching vibration so stretching vibration may be of two types and the second one is the bending vibration in which we observe change in angle and this bending vibration is further further classified into four types so it may be a rocking scissoring twisting and wagging and now we'll see all of these vibrations in detail how do they look like now we'll, now we will try to understand all of these vibrations with the help of these organic molecules so these two vibrations these belong to stretching vibrations and these four are the bending vibrations so let's see the stretching first for example this molecule you can say this is the central atom and these are two atoms attached to it so for example if this atom moves inside then simultaneously this atom also moves inside or if this atom moves outside then other one also moves outside together this type of vibration this is called symmetric stretching vibration both coming inside both coming both going outside simultaneously so this is symmetrical stretching and the other one if one is coming inside then other one is going outside or if other is coming inside then this one is going outside this is called asymmetrical or anti-symmetric stretching and you can see in both of these vibrations the interatomic distance either increases or decreases now we'll see these bending vibrations and we have seen earlier that in these vibrations there will be no change in interatomic distance but but actually the angle will be changed so these are of four types so first one is scissoring so scissoring is just like scissor you can see the movement this is moving inside and this is also moving inside then this is going outside and this is also moving outside so this type of vibration is just like of that scissor so this is called scissoring vibration the next one is rocking so if this one move this way then this one will also move this way or if this moves this way then this atom also moves this way and this type of vibration is known as rocking vibration and these are in plane bending vibrations 
and the other two are out of the plane bending vibration first one is wagging so these two atoms and the positive sign what does it means both of these atoms are coming towards us and in the next moment both of these atoms are moving far from us mean away from the computer screen and this type of vibration is called wagging and the fourth type is the twisting what is this you can see here is the positive sign here is the negative sign mean if this is coming towards us then this is going far from us and if this is coming towards us then this will go far from us this is called twisting vibration so hope you do understand this one so next i have a, a video for you to make you understand all of these vibrations so dear students i have a video for you and that will help you to understand all of uh, these vibrations so let's see so here is the symmetric stretching you can see both are going out then coming inside symmetric stretching then anti-symmetric stretching one is going out other is coming in out in out in then we come towards the rocking so you can see here rocking this type is rocking vibration then wagging one outside sorry both outside both uh, uh, backside outside backside then twisting one outside one backside one outside other backside and then scissoring so you can see this is the scissor like movement so hope this uh, animation this will help you to understand all of these fundamental vibrations so dear students this is all about today's video thanks for watching like my video and subscribe my channel because in the upcoming videos we are further we are going to discuss more about ir spectroscopy so thanks for watching thank you very much